Hi, welcome to this video about the Brugram. The Brugram is a water pump that can pump up water to great heights without using any electricity. This video will show you how it works and how you can build your own using only off-the-shelf parts. Normally, the Brugram uses the height difference in a river to pump up water. In this setup, however, a large water tank is connected to an underground pipe. At the end of this pipe, the Brugram is connected. It pumps up a portion of the water up the tower. As you can see, water comes from approximately 2 meters of height and is pumped up all the way up the tower, which is 12 meters. Please note that in this setup, we pump the water straight up, but it doesn't necessarily have to be this way. You can, for example, pump water up the slope of the hill. The thing that is important here is the total height difference, and not so much the difference the water travels horizontally, within a reasonable range of course. This pump is ideal if you want a continuous water supply for yourself or for irrigation, and there is a river nearby, but it is at a lower altitude than the place you need to water. Here you can see the Brugram in action. Water enters through the steel pipe. And you can see a lot of water flowing out, uh, and this is actually lost water, and normally this would flow back to a river. But every time you hear this pulsing sound, a small portion of the water enters the yellow tubes under pressure. And because of this pressure you can bring the water to high heights. Well, you could say that a lot of water is lost, and this is a shame. But because you use water from a river, this probably is not really a big problem. Now let's have a look at how this pump actually works. Here we can see a cross section of the pump. You can see that there's a spring that holds down a plate. And because of this water can flow out freely. But at some point the flow becomes so large that the plate is taken along and closes off the gap. The water still wants to move forward, but it can't go anywhere, so a pressure peak is created. Because of this the valve in the bottom right will open shortly. It will let through a bit of water under pressure and it will close again. Next, the plate drops again, and the cycle restarts. So every time this happens, a bit of water enters the yellow tube, under pressure. When installing the pump, you may have to tune it first. This is done by adjusting the pretension of the spring, by turning the bolt in or outwards. If the pretension is too high, the plate will never close, but if it is too low, the plate will always stay closed. So you have to find the sweet spot which works for your situation. You may wonder what the purpose is of the yellow tube, and that's a very good question. The tube is intentionally installed with a bend. This way a bubble of air is always trapped in the hose. If this would not be there, there would be a large amount of water resting directly on the valve of the Brugram. If water would pass the valve, it would have to push up all this water, and because the valve is only open for a short amount of time, this would not work. The trapped air acts as a sort of buffer, so that the water level can rise more gradually. Now let's have a look at how this pump is made. Almost all parts are off the shelf. This video will show you how to connect all the couplings together. Be sure to do this tightly. And also, be sure to use enough Teflon tape to prevent leaking. A hole has been drilled in the top of the cap with slots in it, and a thread has been cut into this. This is done such that you can put a bolt inside.
the height to which you pump is important, as it determines the amount of water that is pumped up. In our test setup we can vary this height. Water enters through the yellow tube, and goes up the tower. Then it flows down again through the left pipe. Here you can see a comparison between different heights. The higher you pump, the less water is brought up. Thank you for watching this video. On our website we have an elaborate building manual of the Brugge. So if you want more information on this pump or on other similar technology, please visit our website. I added the link in the description below. If you have any further questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section or via the contact form of our website.